everyone welcome to science youtube channel today's topic for discussion would be the module 3 that is correlation and regression the topics we will be covering under this module is correlation and regression rank correlation partial and multiple correlation and multiple regression now let us move to the first topic of the module that is correlation before moving to the correlation portion, let's first get clarified with the topic of variance and covariance. What do you mean by variance? Variance means the variation of random variable from its mean value. It's like, uh, let me explain the formula. The formula is given by variance of x and it's given by each random variable x and its uh, difference from its mean which is denoted by e of x and the whole you have to square it and then take out the mean. Covariance means the measure of simultaneous variation of two random variables from their respective means. It is denoted by cov of xy and the formula for this is e uh, that is the mean of x minus its mean and y minus its mean and this whole mean is denoted by e. It's also called the product moment of x and y and is also denoted as p of x comma y. Now the topic is correlation coefficient. It's a measure of intensity of linear relationship between x and y where x and y are the two random variables and it's also known as Carl Persons product moment correlation coefficient. It is denoted by r of xy or rxy or simply r. The formula for correlation coefficient between x and y is given by rxy is equal to p of x comma y divided by sigma x sigma y. Now let us know what is this uh, what we have used in the formula. p of x comma y is the covariance of x and y. And sigma x and sigma y is the standard deviation of x and y respectively. When we expand this formula, we get r of x, y is equal to e of x minus e of x, y minus e of y, this whole by root over e of x minus e of x whole square, e of y minus e of y whole square. Now further solving the formula, we get e of x y minus e of x into e of y divided by root over of e of x square minus e square x and e of y square minus e square y. Now further moving we get r of x y is equal to when we uh, open this formula we get what do you mean by this e of x y means the means of each value of x and y. So when we uh, open this formula, we get uh, summation of xi yi by whole n. E of x would be summation of xi by n. E of y would be summation of yi by n. And uh, this whole by root over 1 by n xi square minus 1 by n xi whole square. And 1 by n summation of yi square minus 1 by n summation of yi whole square. And then the formula would complete to n of summation x y minus summation of x into summation of y divided by root over of n summation x square minus summation of x whole square and n summation of y square minus summation of y whole square. There are two properties of correlation coefficient that is the correlation coefficient value would lie under minus 1 and 1 or we can also write it as covariance of x of y whole mod would be less than equal to sigma x into sigma y and it is also independent of change of origin and scale which means that if we take bigger values like x uh, 100 102 then it would be very difficult to solve the problem like that so we can change the origin and scale and uh, the correlation coefficient would not change since it would be independent of change of origin and scale. Moving to nature of correlation, 
if the value of relation correlation coefficient is between 0 to positive 1 then it is the correlation between x and y is known as positive or direct correlation but if it is in the negative side that is between minus 1 to 0 then it is the correlation would be defined as negative or inverse there's also one more nature that is if the value of correlation coefficient is between minus 1 to minus 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 to 1 then the correlation is assumed to be high otherwise it is assumed to be poor now let us move to an example and get uh, know how to solve the questions related to correlation coefficient in this we have been given the question that is compute the coefficient of correlation between x and y using the following data the data has been provided to us we usually refer this as a raw data as the separate values have been given to us since we can see that the values of x and y are very large that is if we need to calculate the square of this then it would turn out to be a larger value. So we can apply the change of origin and change of scale as required. But in this, we only require the change of origin. So we would change the x uh, origin to, let us take the uh, minimum as well as the maximum value. So the minimum value in x is 65 and maximum is 71. So the new origin would be the mean of these two values. That is 61, 65 plus 71 divided by 2, that is 68. Similarly, for y, we'll take the origin and it comes out to be 68. Therefore, we take two extra variables that would be v, ui and vi and it would be the new values of x and y. That is ui is equals to xi minus 68 and vi is equals to yi minus 68. Now moving to the table of the solution, here we have taken the x value which was given already in the question and this is the y value. Ui was xi minus 68 since we changed the origin. So now we will take each value of xi and subtract 68 from it. So we get these values and similarly we will do v for vi which would be yi minus 68 and we would subtract 68 from each and every value of yi. ui square would be the square of ui and vi square would be the square of vi. And ui vi would be the multiplication of ui and vi. So we get the table and uh, form the solution and we would calculate the total of ui vi ui square vi square and ui vi. Now we apply the formula and get Rxy is equal to Ruv because in this question we have taken u and v and the formula was n of n into summation of uv minus summation of u into summation of v this whole divided by root over n of summation u square minus summation of u whole square and into n summation of v square minus summation of v whole square. Putting the values in this, we get 8 into 13 minus minus 1 into 2 and by root over of 8 into 29 minus 1 multiplied with 8 into 42 minus 4 which is equal to 106 by root over of 231 into 332 which is equal to 0 0.3828. Now if the question is asked what is the nature of the correlation coefficient then we can see that the value of correlation coefficient that is 0 0.3828 lies on the positive side so it would be positive correlation coefficient and since its value lies between 0 to 0 0.5 it would be a poor correlation coefficient. Now if you would like to practice whatever we have studied in this video then solve this question which is that find the correlation coefficient between x and y using the following data. Thank you for watching.